Birds and nests are iconic spring symbols, but they need not be limited to the outdoors. Designers are using them indoors to bling up for spring. It seems birds are popping up everywhere, and designer Christine McKay has created several projects that will help you embrace this seasonal trend. I have to make a confession. Yes. I was not in love with this trend to begin with. Trust you to change my mind. Oh, you have done good. some darling things with the idea. You know what I realized as I was planning for this segment is that birds are kind of like my little black dress of decorating. <laughs> I didn't realize how many how many um, ways I incorporated it incorporated it into my own decor. Yeah. Until I started looking around, and what's interesting is it's not new. If you think about it, the 70s it was all about owls. Mm -hmm. The 80s it was all about ducks, ducks and geese. Yes. The 90s it was primitive crows. We started to see owls a little yeah. bit in the last couple yeah. of years. Yeah. And so now it's more flourishes and and um, silhouettes. But you, they've always been such a part of our decor. So you've got some projects, some do-it-yourself yes. projects that will help you embrace it. And it's perfect for spring. I mean, good timing with perfect this Perfect for spring. And especially some of the projects I'm going to show are great for these after Easter sales. They're like 90% off Happening of Easter now. Sales. So we'll talk about that. What do we got? Okay, this first one is actually, it's a little mail organizer. And how I made this is, it, is I just took a, just a regular piece of wood. Okay. And I painted it. And then you can take some canvas. And it doesn't matter if it's a little jagged because you're going to fray the edges anyway. But you'll kind of start at the top and you just kind of fan fold it back and forth to create pockets, you know, of the depth that you want. That is simple Isn't but clever. Isn't that fun? Yes. And you can stitch if you want. You can use fabric glue, hot glue. So basically you just do that and you, you can stitch and glue it and then you attach it to the board. Uh -huh. And then I put a little, a couple little upholstery nails up in the corners to give it a little, a Which little added blank. to it, I think. And then I just a ribbon and you can just hang it on your wall. And what's fun is down below there's a little, um, a cute little postage bird um, uh, logo. Is that a stamp? It is an iron-on, and you can download that for free at kmkdesigns.com. Free download right here. Free download. So Love you just that. go there, print it out, and, and iron it onto your canvas. Look how cute it is to tuck little wedding invitations yeah. that pop in this time of year. Coupons, uh, you know, anything you could Great. just put in there. And so, the fray, very fun. So easy. Easy, easy project. Um, the next thing, it's funny because last month I did a dollar store segment, right. and really this could be part two because okay. I found so many things at the dollar store. This little candle holder right here at the front. I love that. I just took a two by four, cut it down a little bit, and those little birds I got at the dollar store. They were sold individually? They were sold individually, and this is how they came, which, mm, you know, Not you might so walk, cute. well, that little guy's tail's broke, but <laughs> <laughs> I just painted them white, antiqued them, put some candles in there, and now you just have kind of a fun little uh, display. So a coat of spray paint is all you gave this Coat baby. of spray paint, antiqued it with a little bit of glaze, and there you go. I love that. Hot glued it on. Glass is your glass, next best oh, friend and, to birds. And I love glass, and so hopefully this isn't too much of a repeat but one thing I wanted to say is you can take all of these techniques and apply them to any decor if birds isn't aren't you know isn't your thing mm -hmm. you can fill them with other things right here is a great example of what I was talking about Easter clearance these right here are little Easter eggs and they came with a pack of like pink and, and yellow and the whole pack was like a dollar ninety nine um, I, I think it was at Roberts mm -hmm. and it was just on clearance I just took up the green one put it in the jar attached a ribbon and a cute little tag and you can display that year-round great for spring darling and the colors can be tied into your existing exactly Exactly. So switch it out. This one, bird top to bottom. Okay, this one, I found this one at Shopco, and I just loved it. And I, when I, you found I the jar? Got, I found the jar at Shopco. When I got home, I was like, oh, what am I going to do with this? So easy. I just put a little bit of Spanish moss at the bottom, a little e uh, nest that I bought at the store, and I found a cute little bird. It took me all of like two minutes, and there were just some little eggs. Just popped it all in there, and now you've got a great little display, and I put it up on a little pedestal. Cute. And there you go. Quick okay. and easy. How did you do this This one, one is so fun. This is almost like a you puzzle. Know, I use candlesticks all the time because they're such a great way to display things. But what this one is, this, this is just a fish bowl that is turned on its side. And I glued it onto the, the candlestick with some glass, um, some glue that was safe for glass. Mm -hmm. And then I just filled it kind of the same technique, just some Spanish moss, a nest, and a bird. So basically the ing internal ingredients are the same, but a totally different look that kind of coordinates and it just goes together really it's well. It's an adorable version of the floating head at the haunted house at Disneyland. Yes. It is. <laughs> I like it. I like so it. So that one is a really fun one. Okay. Okay. This, baby here. This, this is basically, it's just a nest that I set on top of a pedestal. And this nest I bought already pre-made um, with the birds and the eggs in it for just a couple dollars. Put it onto a cute little pedestal and there you go. It will look great on the mantle. Really fun. Kind of a peekaboo from yeah. over top. Yeah. Fun for okay. outdoors or indoors this next this one. This one is so quick and easy. This would be a 
dollar store find. Okay. A dollar store each. I sprayed it with a little bit of stone spray paint. On the glass? On the glass. You, let me just say, first I painted it with like a, a spray paint that was safe for glass to give okay. it kind of a primer. Okay. And then I sprayed the stone paint and then painted over it. That looks so real. Isn't that fun? And you've got a bird bath. Look at and this. And one of my little, they, I dropped it this morning, so it's, it's <laughs> kind of falling apart a little okay. bit. But. Uh, so it doesn't travel well, but it just flies really well. And I just attached some cute little birds that I got at Roberts for, I think they were like on clearance for $1.79, just on the top. So cute little $2 bird bath. And that looks like Isn't a that stone. fun? I love that. So that one's really quick and easy. Really fun? Okay. Okay, these are hot, hot, hot right now. The little vintage bottles right. with the cute little labels. So I decided to, to take it uh, and, and adhere little bird labels to the front. And once again, you can go to the, the my website, kmkdesigns.com, and you can print out a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet of just all sorts of vintage labels that you can decorate. But basically all that you'll do is you'll just take a 99 cent um, jar that you can get at Michael's and just take some wire. If you want the kind of the little curly Q look, you guys have probably all done this where you just wrap it around the wire a marker around and pull it. And then you'll just take the one piece of wire and you'll just there's your handle and then you'll just start wrapping it around the bottom really easy and to do. really easy a ribbon and the label and you're done that's way to incorporate this trend in a small splash exactly in a more yep way. completely and free that downloads on your website free downloads that? on the website Love that. Fun. okay this one over here. these over here let me just do the picture frame first is okay. that such an awesome one i actually found that at roberts um but what i did is i took it apart so if, if you want to just pick that up and turn it around sure. the other way i took it apart because i love to switch out my artwork birds are kind of trendy so what I did is I took it apart and then made it I just put ribbons on the back so that I could tie it onto the chicken wire and take it off and the reason why I did that is I can change out my prints so easily so if you'll flip that back around if you want kind of a French country look you can do that mm -hmm. these you can just print these out and adhere them onto a canvas or wood and decoupage it and then you can switch your art out so if you want whimsical you can do that if you want more of a vintage you can do this but it's so great I actually have another one of these I made from scratch that's white and I just switched it out for the holidays so you just take off that center piece that's tied along with the ribbon uh -huh. you can switch it out for any holiday I'd imagine even oops sorry oops. Christine this scrapbook paper would be a fun completely look or completely so our darling project thank you Christine, thank you so much all of these projects uh, the instructions available on our website and of course get the free downloadable patterns we've been talking about go to Christine's website kmkdesigns.com we'll link you there also we'll be right back with more on studio 5 stay with us